Hi everybody. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining me on Monday. Uh, I think this is session 10 um, for movement with Mel in my lovely partially finished basement here. Um, so anyways, welcome. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, so we're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I have really not been feeling good uh, the last three days. I think this is day three. Um, but I've had pretty bad sore throat and just more fatigue than, than usual. Um, so uh, I'm booked for my COVID-19 test tomorrow morning. Um, I doubt that's what it is, but <clears throat> um, but yeah, here in Alberta, they're uh, testing pretty much anybody that wants to get tested, even if you don't have symptoms. Um, <clears throat> but when I started with symptoms a few days ago, I thought it was probably best um, just to check um, and be sure. But we have been like really super um, cautious for the most part. I haven't been into a grocery store or Walmart or any store like that um, since uh, second week in March. And um, we're now at the end of June. I've been into a greenhouse. <laughs> that's kind of, that's been my outing. Um, uh, the last little while, um, my husband and I have been trying to um, plant some perennials this year, so that's been nice. Um, so anyways, um, yeah, not been feeling good the last few days, and so I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. I've not been moving much today, and it's pretty late in the day now. Um, so I haven't been moving much, but uh, I thought um, that I would just kind of do some real talk. Um, I did a little bit of an intro um, in session one, um, a little bit of background about me um, briefly, but I thought I would do some real talk uh, today, a little bit more about um, my condition and just kind of what I deal with each day um, and how that has changed and that sort of thing and so I thought I'd just talk for a few minutes and then um, towards the end um, I thought we'd just do a couple of sun salutations. Uh, I'm not gonna go into explaining it extensively because um, that takes up a lot of time and I did, if you want to um, have the explanation for the way that I do it, the, modifi the modified version of the sun salutation um, that I do, you can look back uh, for session one for movement with Mel and you can even skip to, um, I think it's like 15 minutes um, is the point where I show how to do this, the sun salutation. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about um, my ankylosing spondylitis and my journey a little bit uh, and then I thought you could just choose a number that you like, choose your favorite number, your lucky number, whatever that is, and that's how many sun salutations um, we can do. So I'm going to do three, <laughs> um, which is not much, but it's still movement, it still counts, so, and I've always like the number three so pretty easy number I'll do three of them um, at the end of the video so um, so I mentioned a little bit about my autoimmune <coughs> condition I'm sorry I'm gonna keep clearing my throat <coughs> um, so basically I started having um, really severe back pain um, during my pregnancy with um, my son Aiden, so he's now 12, um, so that was in 2008, um, really, really severe, got to the point where um, 
I could barely walk, like it was that painful. Pain started in my low back and would go down my legs and um, I was basically just told that it, my body had um, secreted a pregnancy related hormone too soon and it made my, my pelvis too relaxed and so that was causing the pain. They said it would, you know, get better after I had my son. Um, so had my son in May of 2008 and pain continued pretty bad, really bad, um, for a long time. Um, and saw lots of different doctors and um, was basically told that I was depressed and um, yeah, that was the, the main consensus. I was given narcotics and sent on my way and, and so on. Um, there is a family history uh, for me um, of autoimmune conditions. So I did bring that up, of course, but I um, was told there was no autoimmune condition, no rheumatologic condition that, that affects your back. That's what I was told at that time. Um, so yeah, I just was basically given narcotics to, as like a band-aid for the pain. Um, I tried some prolotherapy in my back, which was very, very painful. Um, and that was kind of the last thing that I did before um, I went back to the rheumatologist that, um, no, no, sorry. So I saw an amazing doctor at Penn State. His name's Dr. Swagler, best doctor ever. Um, and anyways, I had um, been in the doctor's office for something completely unrelated, saw this poster that had all these terms that I didn't know. Um, and saw ankylosing spondylitis and it was pointing right to where my pain was. So being a nurse, I thought, okay, I can do some pretty good research um, on what the heck this is. Uh, so I did my own research and everything that I was reading was like, okay, this, this sounds exactly like what I'm dealing with. Um, so uh, the main way that they diagnose or the um, one of the really good ways that they can diagnose ankylosing spondylitis um, is uh, a blood test called um, to look for a marker called HLA B27. Um, if you're positive for that and you have symptoms it's pretty likely that you have AS. Um, they also do imaging so they can do an x-ray um, or MRI is better to be able to see um, things a bit better. So they did an MRI for me um, which showed um, arthritic changes in my SI joints, so my low back, and I, my blood test came back positive, so I'm HLA B27 positive. So those two things, um, and Dr. Swagler referred me back to the rheumatologist who told me that there was no such thing as a, a rheumatologic condition that affects your back. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of um, how I got my diagnosis. Um, I think I had seen another rheumatologist in there as well. Um, I had problems with my feet off and on for a long time and so they associated some of um, <coughs> the symptoms with my feet um, with this um, diagnosis as well. So anyways, ended up in 2009 with the diagnosis of AS um, and to be honest, like a lot of people go a lot longer not knowing what's going on with them before they receive a diagnosis. So it was basically like a year, a year and a half for me. Um, so from that time I have experienced a wide range of symptoms. Um, the majority of it is um, I've kind of gotten used to the, the pain in my low back. I, it's at a level where it's that's just how it is. It's not going to get any better. Um, but I've also had pain in a lot of other areas and there always seems to be something new unfortunately but um, 
and my screensaver came on, so I'm just gonna kick that back on here. Um, so yeah, like hips, knees, feet, um, ankles, uh, neck for sure. Um, and then in the last two years, um, maybe a little bit more than two years, it started affecting my hands and my fingers. Um, and uh, so I had a rheumatologist who uh, basically said that a lot of the pain in my fingers and my feet is um, is attributed to something called emphysitis. So it's inflammation at the point where your tendons attach to the bone. Um, so that's the pain that I have a lot of times in my hands and my feet. And um, the pain in my feet, like I always just assumed it was plantar fasciitis and I've had that off and on since my diagnosis. Um, usually goes away within a couple months. Um, this time I'm having a lot of trouble um, getting it under control. I've gone to physio and I have inserts for my shoes and um, uh, like orthotic inserts um, sp specific to my feet, not just ones that you buy at the pharmacy. Um, and uh, yeah, I've done shockwave treatments on my heels, um, acupuncture, um, yeah, the deep muscle stimulation with the acupuncture needles. I've done lots of different things. And a lot of people with an autoimmune condition like this, um, I'm sure have some more stories um, about all the things that they've tried to do. Um, and I'm gonna. Um, so in the last 12 years, I've also, um, there's a lot of different medications that can help. Um, people with this um, condition so I have tried and failed a lot of them <laughs> uh, for a lot of different reasons um, I've done Remicade infusions I've done lots of different pills um, anti-inflammatories and disease modifying agents which are pill form typically um, I've done injectable medications. Uh, most recently, I did a year of Humira injections with some uh, some relief, but not really enough. I've still got a lot of swelling and pain in my in my sternum and my rib cage, um, in addition to my hands and my feet. Um, so, two weeks ago, just um, started trying a new biologic medication. So this one's called Cosentix. It's, excuse me, got the hiccups. It's also an injectable medication. So no relief from that yet, but a lot of these can take a long time to work. Um, three months, six months, some of them a year. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a long and frustrating process trying to find something that helps. Um, and during this pandemic, it's been interesting because I've been on hydroxychloroquine for um, two years, <laughs> so long before this pandemic. Um, that does help a little bit with my the pain in my hands. Um, so, yeah, that's I've also had um, some like neurologic type um, symptoms at times, um, a lot of weakness and. Um, uh, different weird um, like neurologic type symptoms. Uh, I did have a period of time for about three or almost four years where it was technically in a remission so I would just have very minor um, flare-ups and uh, that was quite nice. You kind of forget what it's like when it's really bad. Um, so in 2017, um, my husband was diagnosed with stage three cancer, and uh, I think that um, the stress of that year 
and you know trying to support him in his treatment and stuff um, that threw me into the flare that I'm still in um, and still trying to get a, a hold of um, so that's kind of where I'm at that's kind of a really quick um, uh, summary I guess of um, my condition and yeah so it's basically daily pain stiffness in the morning um, I this morning it took me a couple hours um, to not feel so stiff and so sore um, so that time frame can vary each day the level of pain can vary each day this today has been really bad um, and these kinds of conditions are difficult for people because uh, a lot of people look at you and, and think you look fine so and that's what we do whether you have um, a rheumatologic condition or any other invisible illness for that matter mental health um, condition anything that's considered an invisible illness it's it's hard because you you put on your smile for the day you do your best um, you try to work you try to take care of your family take care of your home and yeah people don't some people don't realize um, what's actually going on. So, so today, pain, a lot of pain today, more pain than usual. Um, so, yeah, that's, like I said, a little bit of a summary uh, for me. And um, I'm also waiting. Um, I'm now scheduled for surgery for one of my hands. I'll probably need for both my hands at some point, but um, I'm having a bone removed um, on my right hand, um, which will hopefully help with um, pain caused by arthritis in this hand. Um, so yeah, that will be in the next couple months. So eventually you'll see me still smiling. But uh, probably with this different splint on, looking a little bit different, um, and we'll probably do things a bit different for a while at that point. We'll see what that looks like. But anyways, um, yeah, so I hope that was somewhat interesting. I'm not sure. Um, please feel free to share with me um, your health stories, your journey, um, even if it's very different from mine. I Sometimes it's just nice to be able to talk about um, what you're feeling and know that it's okay to talk about it and complain about it and <laughs> cry about it. <laughs> Cried once today. It's not too bad. Um, so anyways, yeah, please um, message me. Uh, there's a Movement with Mel Facebook page. Hopefully you have liked the Facebook page. Um, I'm also on Instagram. And um, yeah, just find a way to connect with me. And I would love to hear your story or um, what motivates you. And yeah, this was... Um, the main reason behind this movement with Mel is, you know, I need to move. I It's not good for me to, to not move and do some sort of light, gentle exercise every day. Sometimes I do more if I feel like I can um, because I also like to lose weight, be just healthier in general. Um, so yeah, that's the story behind this, and it's just me trying to be accountable to myself um, to make sure that I'm not just laying there feeling sorry for myself. I'm I'm making an effort. I'm 
going for bike rides now, which I really love, and um, doing yoga and trying to do some light exercise, and it doesn't fix it. Um, my screensaver again, I keep forgetting. Um, yeah, doesn't fix my condition. <laughs> Um, but it makes me feel better, makes me feel stronger, so I'm hoping that I can show others that that's possible too, even with pain. You can modify things, but you can keep moving, you can still feel strong, um, and there's other people out there that, that understand and want to listen to you and, and be there as a support for you. So, so that's my story. Um, connect with me if, if you'd like, I'd really love that. Um, yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for, if you're still here, <laughs> thanks for listening and enduring 20 minutes of that. Um, so I'm going to do my three sun salutations, like I said at the beginning, um, pick whatever number sounds good to you, and hopefully I, I remember <laughs> my modified version of this. Um, I realized I got this, I've been trying to get some new workout um, clothing, because I don't really have a lot, or it's really old, um, so I got this really cool looking tank top today from Sweat Society, which is a Canadian-based um, athletic wear company. Um, really cool, ethically made clothing. I'm all about that lately, trying to be. Um, so anyways, I got this really cool tank top, but it has like these big slits <laughs> on the side. So, you know what, instead of climbing the stairs and changing and just because I'm worried that people will see my rolls. We're just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna, yeah, it's okay. It's all good. Accept yourself where you're at. And yeah, okay. So we're gonna do three. I'm gonna do three. You can do it with anyone. So, okay, I'm just gonna adjust myself and adjust my computer here, hopefully. Okay, see, very cool, but definitely different <laughs> from what I usually wear. Okay, anyways, this is getting pretty long, sorry. Okay, we are going to try three. I'm not gonna put any music on, we'll just try the three. And you'll see Bella, I'm sure. Okay, here we go. All right, Bella. You want to do it with me? Okay.
last one for me. You can keep going if you want. I didn't mind my interesting new shirt here. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. I know it was a long one today. I hope you feel good today. Um, and hope to see you next time. Keep moving, guys.